Generally, ophthalmic drugs come in the forms of drops or ointments. Take extra care when reading the label because different drugs or different amounts may be ordered for each eye. Check the expiration date and inspect the drops for cloudiness, discoloration, and small particles that have settled to the bottom. There are some ophthalmic drugs that are in a suspension form and normally appear cloudy. If in doubt, check with the pharmacist. When opening the eye drop container for the first time, write the date on the label. Once the container has been opened, the medication should be used within two weeks or discarded unless the doctor's orders or the label has different instructions. To prevent contamination, be sure you do not touch the tip of the bottle or the eyedropper to the eye. Never use the same eyedropper container for more than one person. Steps for administering ophthalmic medication. Gather all of the supplies you will need. The medication, cotton balls or gauze if there's crusting or discharge around the eye, clean tissue, amar, the person receiving the medications. Wash your hands and apply a pair of clean gloves. For each person and medication, match the person and the medication to the person's name and the medication that are due on the MAR. Always use the five rights plus two each and every time you administer or supervise the self-administration of medication. If the person has discharge around the eye, Moisten a cotton ball and gently clean away the debris by moving from the side closest toward the nose outward. Use a new cotton ball for each stroke. If the person has crusted secretions, moisten gauze with warm water, then apply to the person's closed eye for one to two minutes. Remove the pad and reapply new moist gauze pads until the secretions are soft enough that you can remove them without injuring the tender tissue around the eye. Steady your hand by holding the dropper or eyedropper bottle by resting it against the person's forehead. Use your other hand to gently pull down the lower eyelid to make a little pocket and have the person look up. Instill the prescribed number of drops into the pocket, not directly on the eyeball. Let go of the eyelid and have the person blink to distribute the drops throughout their eye. Give the person a tissue if needed to blot their eye. If applying an ointment, squeeze a small ribbon of ointment along the pocket made when gently pulling down the lower lid. Go from the side closest to the nose outward. Be sure the tip of the tube does not touch the eye. Cut the ribbon by turning the tube. Release the person's eyelid and have them roll their eyes behind closed eyelids to help distribute the medication. Use a clean tissue to remove excessive ointment that leaks from the eyes. Use a fresh tissue for each eye to avoid cross-contamination. Document the administration of the medication on the MAR. Return the medications to its proper storage location. Sometimes eye drops can cause significant reaction if they are allowed to be absorbed into the rest of the body, rather than just in the eye. Some of the systemic reactions to eye drops include fast heart rate, feeling like the heart is skipping a beat, flushing, dry skin, and confusion. Read the instructions and the doctor's orders carefully to see if this may be an issue. To minimize systemic reactions, the doctor may have you press your finger over the tear duct in the corner of the eye closest to the nose. This will prevent the drops from draining out of the eye. You can also have the person tilt their head to the left when placing drops in the left eye and to the right when placing drops in the right eye. By tilting the head, it will also reduce the chance the drops will drain into the tear ducts. Ella is a 58-year-old lady with spina bifida. She has a doctor's order for pilocarpine for her glaucoma and genoptic for chronic dry eye. You instilled a genoptic solution to her eyes and looked at your watch so you could wait five minutes before instilling the pilocarpine. Ella tells you to just go ahead and put the other drops in now. She doesn't wait when she does her eye drops and she has things she wants to do and sitting around waiting is not one of them. What do you do? 
Perfect. You should always wait at least five minutes between eye drops unless directed to do otherwise by the doctor.